All right, finally out its range with the LWTS clip-on thermoscope. Gonna do some test firing here. Uh, got it in clip-on configuration. We're actually gonna be able to show you what it looks like through the ACOG. Uh, thanks to Chris Bird over at US Night Vision, they got this handy little adapter here that puts the iPhone right on the back of the ACOG. So you can finally see what it looks like to look through the ACOG, see the crosshair in the ACOG, and then through the thermal. This is the magic of the clip-on. So uh, whenever you're ready there, Jimmy, let's uh, take some shots. Now, Jim could fire without putting his eye up there. As you might know, he's got a problem with one and it's always funny when he shoots, but now he can just sit back like a with that uh, iPhone adapter and shoot. With the clip on, turns any day scope into a thermal imager. Yeah, we got the ACOG going through the day scope. Really nice. All right, now we're going to do a little uh, standalone action. Uh, you know, it's not only a clip on, it's a standalone. We just take the uh, ACOG off, move this back to the standalone position, and you got that little rubber boot back there that just keeps a little bit of light safety. Put on your eye cup, and we're ready to start shooting in standalone mode. You got a reticles in there for the different um, reticles for the different guns. You got uh, your stadiometric display. And we turn that on, get that sighted in, and we can just shoot with this thing as a standalone scope. It's pretty good on there, too, doesn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Right, we got the SPI wonderful DVR recorder. We're going to use this as a standalone. We got the video out going right to the recorder with the screen. So I'm going to press record here, and then we're going to shoot right now. 